Good morning. I uh, hope you're all well and having a good day. I just want to do a quick piece this morning on people travelling between areas for the purpose of uh, buying, renting, viewing properties, um, with Cornwall being the only uh, tier one area uh, on the UK mainland. Obviously, it's a, a hot topic of discussion at the moment um, now that we've come out of lockdown. Um, and there's been a lot of discussion over the last couple of days on, on social media around, uh, around the point. Um, the government guidance is quite clear. You can travel for the purpose of moving house um, and indeed for viewing properties um, to a tier one area from any other tier two or tier three area. Uh, you can stay over. It's not for discussion. It's very, very clearly laid out in black and white. Um, however, I think it's a case of just because one can do something should you do it, um, seems to be the discussion. And over the last couple of days, quite a few of the local agents um, have been discussing whether or not they should be accepting viewings for people travelling from Tier 3 area uh, areas, particularly more so than Tier 2. Um, since the beginning of the pandemic, um, they've been refusing viewings, generally speaking, across the board from anybody who's not proceedable, um, i.e. got a buyer for their own property, finance in place and, and ready to move forward on property. Um, understandably, they're trying to keep physical viewings and physical contact, therefore, to to a minimum. Um, they seem to be trying to apply the same the same logic here. Um, if they're accepting viewings, people traveling down, the effect that's going to have on the on the wider community with a greater number of people in the area. Um, however, saying that, we had a lot of visitors down uh, over the summer period, about two million visitors to the county over the summer period, um, and there was no significant escalation um, uh, in, in cases over that over that time. Um, so rightly or wrongly, and, and each state agent running their own business, they have to make that decision. But it's something you probably need to be aware of if you're planning on travelling down um, between now and, and sort of the, the, the new year period. Um, yeah, it could be a, a significant impact um, for you, and you need to be having those conversations uh, with the with the state agents. Um, understandably, if you're in a situation where you're living in a tier three area and you need to move house, it job move, whatever the reason happens to be. Um, you, you should be free to, to to come down a few properties, um, assuming that the correct cr correct precautions are are in place. Um, or should you? Should we be be banning um, you know, travel from from those areas? Um, is is a sort of a large area of discussion. So just something I really want to make you aware of um, that you do need to double check with the state agents um, that they're okay with accepting viewings if you're traveling from a, a T three area um, to, to to view properties over this period. Um, if you have any problems, if you need to get in touch with me, contact me on the uh, on the usual channels.